What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. The 421146 6x6 Volvo articulated holder is supposed to have an automatic gearbox in the Control Plus app, which in reality only works in one direction. It shifts up automatically, but does not shift down. At least, this is the case in the beta app, so I decided to upgrade it a little bit, but more about this later. The official release date of the set is the 1st of August, so there's no final Control Plus app available yet, but as it showed up already in some stores, there are folks out there who built it, but cannot control it without an app. The Powered Up app did not receive yet a support for the Technic Large Angular Motor in the latest update, so there's no way to create a control profile for it in the official app. I suggest to use Brick Controller too. Even with that, the setup is not trivial due to the remote controlled gearbox, but there's a fairly simple setup. All of these steps are documented with photos on my blog. Click on the link in the top right corner or in the description to access it. We need to calibrate first the L motor that controls the gearbox. I created a separate profile for that. It has a single controller setup. It rotates the motor by 5 degrees each time. This can be used to rotate the gear indicator to the position of the first gear, as close to the 90 or 0 degrees position as possible. Once you have it, you can switch to the control profile. As I said, the setup is documented in my blog post. In this profile, we can use the left joystick to control throttle and two buttons to switch between gears. The right joystick controls the steering. There is no automatic shifting this time. Make sure to wait until the motor switches to the next position, as you can mess up the position if you tap the buttons too quickly. If the gear selector motor gets misaligned, then you need to recalibrate it with the other profile. As you see, you can switch between the three driving gears and the fourth position will be park when you can tilt the bed. I removed the bed to have a better visibility on the gears this time. Another suggestion, stop the truck between gear shifts, that puts less stress on the whole gearbox. So, back to the automatic transmission. As you remember, the holder has three gears and it shifts up automatically as you push the joystick forward. This works on a flat and smooth surface but in third gear practically any obstacle will stop the vehicle as you can see it here. If you keep pushing the joystick forward then the holder simply stops, but it won't shift to second or first gear. You need to release the joystick, then it will automatically shift back to park and then it starts again in the first gear and it can successfully climb the obstacle. Even a simple pencil can stop the holder in third gear. You need to stop and then start again in first gear to climb over it. This control method is usable, but I wanted to see if we can use the advanced abilities of the powered up system to create something that works more like a real automatic gearbox. The code is experimental and very much work in progress. I'm not sharing it yet, as you can only use it with the spike prime motor for steering anyway. I would like to wait for the final control pass profile to see if anything similar is implemented. If not, then this might be interesting enough to develop further and publish. So, here's how it works currently. There's a calibration sequence at the beginning, it rotates the axle in the position of the first gear. Once the calibration is finished, the holder starts in first gear. The whole sequence is slowed down to ensure a smooth operation and to do the tests. It can be quicker in the future if it will be reliable enough. If the speed of the driving motor is high enough, then it shifts to the next gear, but the motor stops during shifting to prevent any lockups. If the motor slows down due to the lack of torque, then the app will automatically shift down, slowing down the holder, but also providing more torque. Now let's see the previous scenario. On flat surface, it shifts up gradually, similarly to the control pass profile. If there's an obstacle, then there's no need to release the throttle. The code detects the stalled motor and it shifts down until the holder starts moving again. Downshifting also works if there's a possible jam in the gearbox and the driving axle cannot rotate properly. Now let's test it outside. As you see, on a moderately smooth surface it runs well and it will shift up to third gear. When it reaches the pebble it stops, shifts down to second and then to first and then climbs it successfully. Once the motor has less resistance, it shifts up again.
On the grass, it stops completely in third, shifts down to second and then to first gear. At this point, some fine tuning is needed as the power difference is too big between the first and the second gears. It is difficult to detect if the torque required is only available in first or is it okay to shift up to second gear. There's another feature I implemented. Since the hauler can only climb any incline in first gear, I use the hub's built-in gyroscope to detect if the hauler is going upwards. In this case, the gearbox won't shift to second. Even if there would be enough speed to do so, it stays in first gear. This is a very steep incline, almost at the limit of the hauler, but it can climb a bit slowly in first gear. Once it reaches the top, the code again permits shifting up so it can go forward. So, this is my current implementation of an automatic gearbox control. Let me know in the comments what you think about it or what additional features could be added going forward. I will do another video about the set with the official release of the control pass profile and we will see if there's a need for a more sophisticated custom control. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up, you can also subscribe and tap the notification bell if you don't want to miss my technic reviews and other LEGO RC videos. See you next time, bye bye!